If you see what I done Came in the blind bins, left it the white one I'm just a woman Yo, 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 yo Do you know what time it is, bro? This is Fresh of the Boat Show It's your boy Toby right here Salute to every single one of you out there you can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with me, man. For real, for real, for real. And I salute you. I hope everyone is having a very wonderful New Year's, man. Listen, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, and this is your first time coming on this channel, or you just come on this channel but haven't subscribed yet, listen, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Watch all the videos. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Share the videos. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Well, like my boy always says, tell your enemies to tell their friends too. You go, I'm saying. And also, listen, if you've not followed me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, S T I double L T O B Z, Toby. Or you can also follow this page on Instagram as well, Fresh of the Boat Pod on Instagram, because we are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, nigga. And listen, we are on 8,000 subscribers right now. Without you guys, we would not be here today. You know what I'm saying? So let's get this to 9,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck with me, if you fuck with this channel, if we love, if you love what we're doing, let's get this to 9,000. So we are on the road to 9,000 right now. But listen, bro, I don't want to waste you man time right now. I'm here to bring the good news. I'm here to bring the gospel. J Hoss is coming. J Hoss is coming. Bro, listen. I know people are wondering, yo, why is this guy so excited about J Hoss, man? I've always said it. J Hoss is one of my favorite artists. Hands down. Nigeria, Ghana, UK, America, anywhere in the world, he is one of my favorite rappers or artists because he's not even a rapper. He raps, he sings, he does the Afro swing thing. Bro, my guy is a vibe. And of yesterday, he released an, a, 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 a statement saying that he's coming, bro. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Before we get to that statement, yeah? For some people that don't know who J. Huss is. J. J. Huss is from London. You know what I mean? He's from East London. Um, he's from Stratford. But let me see where he's from originally. Let me see where he's from originally. Um, J. Huss. Where's J. Huss from originally? Um... They didn't really. Well, let me let me find out. Um, boom, boom. Oh, so he's from Gambia. His mom is from Gambia. Yeah, he's twenty five years old. You go. Know I'm saying, but he grew up in London. He grew up in Stratford and everything, bro. You get me? So he's one of them guys, man. He's very, 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 very talented, man. Listen, if you've not heard any of his songs. Go and check out his songs, um, or rather his albums, Big Conspiracy and Common Sense. You go, know I'm saying he, um, he came out in 2015. That was when everyone kind of, you know, he gained his popularity and everything. You go, know I'm saying he started doing his thing with, with his mixtape and everything. And his sound has always been so different. You go, know I'm saying he, he plays with the whole house, you know, he. Bro, he has so many sounds that he just mixed them up together and just does his thing, bro. You get what I'm saying? So he came out in 2015 and and um his debut album was Common Sense. You get what I'm saying? And that's where the song is. Wait, let's let's put it up real quick, man. You get what I'm saying? Um his common sense album, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Listen, if you've not heard any of these albums, yeah, go check it out. J. Us, Common Sense. 
Boom. So on that album, you had Common Sense, Leave Me, um, Like my like Your Style, Fisherman, Mash Up, Who You Are. But oh, listen, I wish I could play this right now, yeah, but because of the YouTube copyright thing, I can't do it. And and YouTube, listen, you, you better fix up with that thing, man, because that's killing the vibes right here. And um, Buff Daddy, right, so these are the tracks, and did you see, oh, did you see what I done? Came in the black bands, left with the white one. Bro, go check out that tune. If you've not heard it, go check it out. You know what I'm saying? So this was obviously his first album, which came out, I think, 2017, there about, or rather, yeah, around 2017, about 2015, 2017. I think that that was around where it came out. And then his second album, which was... His second album was Big Conspiracy. The Big Conspiracy album, bro, on this, listen, on this album, yeah, hits. Hits. You are not going to skip a track. He featured um, Burner Boy on one of the songs. He featured, um, like, um, he featured LMA as well. You know, the album was was executive produced by J5, you know, and uh, most of the sound on the album was like, he, he was playing with Afro B, Afro Swings, bro, he was doing a lot of things on the album, you need to check that album out if you've not heard it, you know what I'm saying, but listen, bro, this guy, man, I can't, I cannot, I cannot stop speaking about dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? For people that don't know him, this is him right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, he does his own thing. He does his own thing. He's one of them guys, right? He's not active on social media. And that's a very rare case when it comes to artists these days. Because a lot of artists need social media to operate. They need their names to be in the blogs and everything. But this guy, he is never on social media. He only speaks if he has a project coming. You got know what I'm saying? And 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 to me, it keeps that mystery around him. You know, and I believe that was the reason why when I made um, the statement that I made that a lot of people caught feelings about it. To me, I equate this guy to a Kendrick Lamar. Now, I'm not talking about lyrics. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the way he moves. His lyrics are still sick. I don't think there's, there's a lot of people in the UK that can actually touch him, that can touch his pain game. You know what I'm saying? His lyrics are, are still very sick. But I'm talking about keeping that mystery around him. Like, you don't see him everywhere. You don't see him on Instagram acting a fool and everything. Like, he's not on social media. But he's one of them guys where, when he drops, everywhere stops. Whenever he drops, for someone he, who is not active on social media, yeah, whenever he drops, everybody stands still and listen. His last album, yeah, Big Conspiracy, does not have a video. It does not have a video at all. But that album did really, 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 really well. A lot of artists, they need social media to do their thing, to like get the numbers and everything. Not him. You got know I mean? Like he, he lets... The art speak for him, and also if you go on Burner Boy's new album, um, Clock and Dagger, he featured him on there as well, and he absolutely did his thing. You get know what I'm saying? And I think um, 2018, obviously, um, well I say obviously, unfortunately he had to go to jail in it. You get know what I'm saying? So he was in jail for tw from 2018 up until 2019. You know, and for, for, for something that has to do with him holding a knife and all that kind of stuff. You know, and I believe Drake introduced him on stage. I think it was the day that he came out. Drake was at O2. Drake was at O2. And he introduced him on stage. Hold on. Let me just put it up real quick. This was on stage. This was literally... On that day, let's just check out the video. Okay. Oh 
Bro, listen, yeah. Drake with the braids looks so different from Drake with the look of hair, man. Do you look so different with all the tattoos and and he also has a face stats now, so just blessed to even be a part of. And um, this is something I wanted to make happen for the whole week. And I'm just glad that I can make it happen with this group of people in this building because y'all been going crazy yeah. all night. So if anybody's sitting down right now, I need you to stand up because we're about to celebrate one of our brothers tonight. I'm ready if y'all ready. Let's go. Bro. Bro, listen, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, people don't understand how hard it is, yeah, for someone who's not active on social, yeah, to have this many cult followings in that. Like, it's very hard to do in this day and age. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at social media, a lot of these artists are on some madness. You get me? But this guy, man. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, man. Yo, bro, this was when he literally, he literally just came out of jail. He came out of jail and just came straight down here. Hey. Hey. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Bro, like, this shit was mad, bro. On that day, this shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people obviously were excited to see him home and that. You get what I'm saying? Like, he. Pfft. Listen. If you've not heard his albums or if you've not heard the songs and everything, just go and check it out. You get what I'm saying? So, going forward, obviously, last year he dropped a statement that, that the album was dropping last year. Well, obviously, it never came. Then yesterday, he dropped a statement. I'm just going to read it out to you lot right now, man. Wow, 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 wow. I'm excited for this one, for real. I'm not even going to lie. I'm excited for this one. Because this is one of them people that whenever he says he's coming, you just go watch out for him. For real. And then, um, yep, so this is from Clash article. So he said, um, he writes, the women in my life remove the confusion. They tell me fuck the... <laughs> they tell me fuck the pussy shit. And let him have it. Go insane on them. KDA. Album out. Media and visuals. I'm back. Bro. Listen. I am looking forward to this one and that, bro. And and obviously now he's coming with the visuals. Because the last album, he didn't do no visuals at all. Up until today. No visuals at all. So I'm glad that he's coming with a visual on this one, bro. Like for real. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this one. I hope, I hope, you know, he comes through with this one, man. You got me? This is not one of them ones where I'm just going to tease the fan and just disappear again, bro. Listen, I, I, I need some J-Hearts because out here, is, what we're listening to out here right now is nuts. Some of these songs out here are crazy, man. You get me? So for him to say that he's coming out, bro, I am, I am, I am looking forward to this one for real. You got what I'm saying? But anyways, I hope you are too, though. You get me? But listen, you lot have a good day. Yeah? I'm going to step out right now. You lot have a good day. Watch the videos. Share them. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. Is your boy Toby. Follow me on Instagram. S-T-I-L-L-T-O-B-Z. It's right there on the screen. And until next time.
Salute.